Hello everyone and welcome back to Fly by Mark channel. Today we are going to talk about overspeed. Basically, the fly crew should never exceed intentionally this speed, VMO, MMO, it means maximum operating speed and maximum operating Mach in their bus is 350 knots and Mach 82. But due to wing gradients, sometimes the aircraft may exceed temporary this speed. So, very important, keep the autopilot on and the autotrust engaged. And now we are going to review which is the correct procedure in order to recover from this situation. First of all, what happens if the speed will exceed this limit? Basically, the aircraft will not receive any structural damage, but a maintenance inspection is required. Anyway, before to move on FTD, let's to review together how to identify this situation on our instruments. Basically, the main instrument that we need to use is the primary fly display. On the, this side of the screen, you can see the high speed scale. Basically, the red and black line in this side is the maximum speed. It means that when the speed oversees this line, the red and black strip, we are in overspeed condition. For your information, the Airbus A320 in normal law has an high speed protection. Avoid the speed that will exceed this limit, the VMO MMO. The two small green bars that you can see in this side of the high speed indicator, they are the point where the high speed protection system will be activated. So the overspeed warning will alert the pilot when the speed will exceed the VMO and MMO more than 4 knots or 0 0.006 Mach. But it doesn't mean the autopilot will automatically disconnect. The autopilot disengagement depends on the speed variation and the high speed protection logic. So until the autopilot will remain engaged, the flight crew should keep the autopilot on. This is the best way in order to recover from the high speed condition. So, the procedure that we are going to review on the FTD is to keep the autopilot on, to keep the auto thrust engaged, to reduce the speed on the speed selector on FCU, and cross check if the auto thrust will reduce automatically the thrust. Only in the condition that the auto thrust will not automatically reduce the thrust, or if we have an auto thrust off during the flight, the flight crew may set the thrust lever on idle. At this point, if the speed is still above the maximum limit, the flight crew may consider the use of the speed brake. And smoothly application of the speed brake is required in order to avoid that the VLS maximum selective speed will increase too fast. Keep in mind that when we are going to reduce the speed selector on FCU, the minimum speed that we can select is a green dot. Never select one speed below green dot, especially at a very high altitude. Now let's move on FTD in order to see how to apply the correct procedure in order to recover from the overspeed condition. So in case of overspeed, speed selected, select minimum green dot, confirm thrust is idle automatically if we need smooth application of the speed brake. As you can see, with the use of the speed brake, the VLS will increase significantly, reaching the indicated speed. I hope that you enjoy the video. Thanks again for watching. Thumb up, subscribe, share with your friend. See you the next time on the Fly by Marks channel.